Yeah, I'm filming two videos in one day. What you gonna do about it? What is up you guys? We got another super exciting rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the unreleased Axiom Discs so Total Solar Clips Pitch. That's what it's called. So Flight Factory was kind enough to let me borrow this disc for the purpose of this review. So make sure you go ahead over there and get your pre-orders in. These are gonna be coming out on April 6th. So make sure you go get your pre-orders in at flightfactorydisc.com. Let us know what colors you want. These guys are gonna have different color flight plates and different colored rims. So make sure you tell us what glow colors you'd like and we'll do our best to get them out to you like that. So here's the side profiles. They did give the pitch, which is on the left, a negative 0.5 turn. So we're gonna see today if there's actually any difference between these two discs. I really think they just kind of called this a negative 0.5 turn just so that it's slightly different than the glitch, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna try to throw these out there as flat as possible. We'll see how they fly. We'll throw the glitch first. Nah, we'll throw the pitch first. I wanna throw this thing. I'm hoping if this thing has a, a negative 0.5 turn that I can actually get it to pop up flat on Heiser. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna throw this thing flat first though. See how it, see how it acts. Whoa, big bird in the fairway. Ooh, it does have like a little flip up and turn. I threw that on a baby hyzer, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little bit flat, but it kind of flipped up and started to drift right. Never started to come out. Interesting. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can match that with a glitch. Oh God, I threw that so bad. <laughs> I threw that so bad, you guys. See, I didn't throw the glitch very well, but you guys got to see the flight of the pitch. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to throw this out on some hyzer and see if I can get it to pop up flat. I think this might be like a nice beat-in glitch. If you guys saw my spore video, I was talking about how I can't really get the glitch to hyzer flip. It kind of just holds the hyzer, holds whatever angle you put it on. So that being said, I think this might be like a slightly beat-in glitch where it will actually flip up to flat. I don't know, we'll see about that. I'm gonna throw it on some hyzer next. We're gonna throw the glitch out there first just to see how the normal glitch flies on a hyzer. See, not, not very much flip up. Just kind of held the hyzer the whole way. I feel like that literally held the same angle that it came out of my hand, like just a slight hyzer and it never, never flipped up, never did anything, just held that hyzer, went left. Let's see if this pitch can, uh, can flip up a little bit. Ooh, definitely flipped up a little bit. Ooh, I might've thrown that a little bit better, but it 100% flipped up a little bit. Ooh, I really like that flight. That is one problem I've always had with the glitch is it's so finessey and so finicky. It really holds whatever angle you put it on. That being said, this pitch might be the perfect solution for that because it's a little bit more understable. So if you're a slight hyzer thrower like me, you can throw it out on hyzer and it'll flip up. Whereas the glitch, if I throw it out on a straight hyzer, it never flipped up and it just went on a hyzer the whole time. So being a person who is an amateur is not the best at throwing different angles correctly every single time perfectly, the pitch is going to help those players that throw on slight hyzers. Okay, we're gonna throw them out there on some Anheuser this time, maybe slightly flat. I'm not sure my Anheusers usually come out slightly flat, but we're gonna throw them out there and see if the pitch wants to kind of burn over or if it has some slight stability. Let's throw the glitch out there first for a little base, base line and then we'll throw the pitch. All right, pretty nice, smooth turn the whole way. Didn't want to burn over. I didn't throw it on a really steep Anheuser, but I could have put more on it. Could have put could have put it a little higher. But yeah, pretty much what you expect out of a glitch on a turnover shot. Let's see how the pitch compares to that. Let's see if I can throw it a little better too. It's a little better. Okay significantly more turn. I don't know if you guys could see it, but that disc started to actually almost burn over. Might be a really good option for those players that don't have a good forehand, like how Drew Gibson does with his watt, how he uses the watt for big turnover shots and, you know, basically shots that he doesn't want to throw a big forehand. So that could, this could be a really good option 
for beginner players to have that slot. This pitch is gonna turn over a little bit easier than the glitch will. You can actually just throw it flat and get some turnovers with it. I'm really liking this pitch, guys. But no, I can honestly say I really do like this pitch. I'm not sure exactly why, but it seems to feel a little bit better in my hands than the glitch. I don't know if it's just because the Eclipse rim, possibly, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, guys, but the pitch just feels like more like a disc in my hand versus the glitch feels like a lid style disc. The, the pitch actually feels more like a disc. I don't know what it is, I can't explain it, but it does, it feels a little bit more like a disc. I don't know if that's playing into some mental game in my head, allowing me to throw it better than I've ever thrown a glitch. Not sure what it is, but I do like this pitch more than I've liked any other glitch ever. I've just never really been a big fan of the glitch. Okay, we're gonna end it out here throwing at holes nine and hole eight. Throw the glitch first, gonna put these out there in a little bit of hyzer and try to put them right in the chains. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> right over the top, dude. Whew, that one was close. Let's see if this pitch will do a little better, put it a little lower. Oh, I threw that too straight at it. Yeah, didn't swing that out wide enough, but still a really good flight. We're gonna end this video out by throwing this pitch right into the chains. Here we go. Where's the turn at now? Didn't turn at all. Let's see if we can't get the glitch to turn if we put a little more stank on it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. Why am I getting so close to the glitch? I kind of want to do that again. I kind of want to do that again. Hold up. I wonder how they forehand. Oh, burn that one over. The glitch is just a forehand disc. All right, let's try this again. Pitch first. Ah, oh, I just gotta throw it higher. Throw it higher than that. See, if I threw the pitch like that, I really think that would have went in because the pitch would have turned a little bit more. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this rapid disc review. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you guys go get your pre-orders in at flightfactorydisc.com so you can get yours April 6th. Let us know what colors you want and we'll have it out to you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.